السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اعوذ باللہ کی من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ای امین امنیر ریسنٹلی ای ایم بریس اسلام فرام کرسٹین یو می آسک وائی آفٹر آفٹر پریچنگ اباؤٹ جیسس اینڈ بائبل وائی سڈنلی مین یو جم ٹو انادر ریلیجن ٹو بی فرینک When I read whole Bible, it led me to Islam. You may be wondering, how come? The Bible itself, after seeing some verses, I really became confused. And I was praying for that. Jeremiah 33.3 Call to me, I will answer. I will tell you the wonderful and marvelous things which you know nothing about it. You know, Deuteronomy 18.18 Almighty God told to Moses, I will raise up a prophet among from your brethren and I will put my words in his mouth. He will not speak to his own authority. He will declare the truth of God. What he hear from God. or what the Almighty God command. I will raise up a prophet like you from among their brethren. I was really wondering who was that? Who was that prophet? Like you. Like you means like Moses. Anyway, it was, in a, it was a confusion question for me. Who will be that? One more verses. John 14, 14 chapter verses told Before going to heaven Jesus said I have much more to tell you but now this is too much for you to bear When the Holy Spirit come upon him he will start to declare the truth of God I have to go there Once I go there only Almighty God will send the comfort. Ruler of this world is going to come. All these words really are. Jesus birth was miraculous but Moses birth was normal. Peace be upon them and Moses married and Moses death was uh, death was natural whereas Jesus birth was miraculous and Jesus didn't marry and when Jesus died God raised him up so this Jesus is not like Moses peace be upon them among from their brother that means Abraham had two sons Ismail and Isaac Ismail is the elder one and Isaac is the second one The Arabs are the descendants of Ismail and the Jews are the descendants of Ishaq. So they are the brothers. So among these brothers, God will raise up a prophet. Actually, Almighty God, the Lord sent nearly 1,25,000 prophets to this world to convey his messages to the people. So these things were really, I was really confused. Also, I was also thinking that Jesus, also, Jesus is God's son because I am from Roman Catholic. I was taught like that, that Jesus is God's son. But when I read the whole Bible, I understood Jesus is one of the greatest prophet or greatest messenger from God. Jesus himself is telling in the Bible, I can do nothing in my own. what God is wishing, what God is judging that I am doing. In many places, this is telling me that. In the Rams sometime, I had a strong desire to take um, fasting. When I started to take fasting, all the Muslim brothers, they, start, they started to encourage me in the net and uh, sending me a lot of books. I read whole Quran too. And I was really satisfied because yes, I was in a divine travel. 
and you know in our india there are thousands of gods are there and i didn't know to whom i should pray christians or christians are fixed in bible no jesus himself said that peace be upon him when i go there go to heaven lord will send another comforter that you people are not believing you are still you are still fixing on bible only this prophecy or my to go told to moses and the jesus told about um, the comforter this prophecy about none other than prophet muhammad first peace be upon him once i read quran i was so happy and i came to know that prophet muhammad came for this world he didn't come for muslim and the quran is not for muslim prophet muhammad he was a religious nature and when he was 26 years old he married to khadija who was 40 years and who was a widow and they lived a harmony life for for 26 years and when khadija bibi died only he thought of prophet muhammad peace be upon him thought of marrying another one prophet muhammad was totally devoted to khadija bibi for 26 years when he was 40 years old he, he practiced meditating on the top of the mountain in the cave hira there he got the first revelation from almighty god through archangel gabriel then this revelation continued 23 years is called quran we should read quran quran will give all the guidance directions instruction in every aspect of life and quran is the last revelation of our might to go when i come to know about islam i really regretted why i didn't know this before why i didn't read bible nobody cannot reach islam without reading bible all the islam all the muslims are respecting jesus they honoring jesus but they don't believe jesus is god son they don't believe in trinity and they reject the notion of attributing human qualities and limitation to allah allah is not a different or muslim god it's arabic word allah means almighty god who created the universe who is the originator of this creation so people differ different terms doesn't mean that there are different gods Islam means one who voluntarily surrender his or her will to God is called Islam who can be from any racial or ethnic background Islamic standpoint is believing in oneness of God all prayer and acts of worship should exclusively to God Islam is a monotheistic religion which upholds God is one and incomparable You can see racial harmony in in the mosque cosmopolitan cities there you will find people of various colors worshiping worshiping god with equal status before god there is no king and pauper there is no rich and poor there is no white and black all line up side by side to worship there is no special preference to anyone the basis of of this uh, social status or the position or caste color nothing all are equal in front of allah and islam is accessible to everyone regardless of their background or current situation anyone can become islam simply believing and uttering the testimony of faith ashhadu allah ilaha 
illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadur rasulullah foundation of the islamic faith is oneness and uh, uniqueness of our magical i would like to recite a wonderful recite of sura al fatiha alhamdulillah rabbil alamin ar rahman rahim malik yawm din iya kana budu wa iya kana stai ihtina sirat al mustaqi sirat al ladina anand alaihim aur magalu bi alaihim walallahi amen alhamdulillah rabbil alamin all praise and thanks be to allah the lord of all that exist ar rahman ar rahim the most gracious most merciful maliki yawm ad din the supreme owner of the day of judgment ee yak na budu wa yak na stim we worship you only we seek your help only if din as sirat al mustaqim please guide us a straight path sirata alladheena an'amta alayhim the way whom upon you bestowed grace oil maglub alayhim the one who is not wrath and go not astray waladlal amin being a christian i had lot of gods and even i have been to all the temples in india i was really traveling traveling many places but i'm really impressed in islam because they are worshiping only one god who is unseen and omniscient and who created this universe who is the originator of the all creations and the islamic foundation is five pillars are first one is shahada that is testimony of faith and we worship only one god there is no other god worthy to worship and the prayer establishing regular prayer five times in a day after purifying our body and heart that is after doing ablution that particular time this prayer is must that is in this time in this prayer we cannot uh, ask for our needs to god this five times we are standing in front of god with various body postures such as standing bowing prostrating and sitting so we are worshiping with our body and if you read quran we can know there is lot of direction instruction and uh, guidance in every aspect of life how to be with the family how to be in the family how to be with the wife how to be with the husband so many things no so testament is there no testament is there and the last testament is quran that is the last revelation of god we have to accept it jesus told in john 14 14 and i have to go if i go only god will send another comforter and he will when the spirit comes upon him he will start to declare the truth of god he will not speak his own authority he will speak what he hear from almighty god in the quran quran is for the world 
Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he has come for the world, not for the Muslims. Who is Muslim? The one who surrender his or his will to God voluntarily is called Muslim. Jesus also came to this world surrendering his will to God. Then, that means, who was Jesus? He was also a Muslim. He did everything. Islamic foundation is five pillars. That is, Shahada, prayer, shakat, fasting and hajj. Shahada is declaring the faith, the next prayer. Establishing a regular prayer, five times a day. That is the prayer in Islam. You know, with various body postures, such as standing, bowing, prostrating, and sitting. This five times prayer is must come and stand in front of God. If we want to ask our needs, our personal needs, then we have to sit separate, not in this five times. This five times we are standing in front of God. There is a particular time when God comes. We everybody is standing Qibla towards west. That means Makkah is in the center of the world. So everybody is there standing towards Makkah. Then when the God will shower Barkah blessings, it will spread everywhere so what Jesus taught everything is true we have to follow Jesus teachings only uh, after studying Jesus teaching only we can become a true Islam a true Muslim person and all the Muslim persons also should read Bible the last revelation of God is Quran I too had a discrimination about the caste. But once I realized, once I read the Quran, I really regretted. We all are equal in front of Allah. After embracing Islam, I am totally isolated from family. They said not to come to the house covering the head. Even I am avoided from many other functions which hurted me very badly. But I have Allah. I you know Allah will take care of me. I am totally isolated. I have a lot of, lot of worries. But I am very much happy because I came to know about the truth of God. I came to real path of light. I was in dark. I came to light. God has a plan about us. So, whatever happens in our life is for our good, not for disaster. I believe that. This is Jesus' story. After embracing Islam, I got a lot of torture from my relatives, families, or from Christians. They all cursed me too. But I still believe in Allah. Allah will not leave. Allah will not make anyone to insult us. When God is with us, why should we fear? Why should we fear? So I'm thanking to God. Worship one God who created the universe. And do foundation of five pillars. Takat is charity. It's an obligation to every Muslim. 2.5 of the well must be paid annually who is eligible then Allah will bless our remain wealth purify our remain wealth then another thing is Hajj that is pilgrimage to Makkah once in our life only if you are physically and financially fit and fasting is everyone should uh, fast in Ramsan month, in the 30 days from dawn until sunset. Abstain from three human needs drinks, food, 
and sexual relation. 748. The most high God doesn't leave houses built by men. Heaven is my throne and earth is my food store. Then what kind of house would you build for me? God is asking. God is asking. Heaven is my throne and earth is my food stool. Then what kind of house would you build for me? And where is the place for me to live in? Didn't I myself make all this? In this Bible verses, you can understand about the God. We are a worm in front of Allah. But it should not fix in Bible. Come to the last revelation that is Quran. Everyone should read Quran. Quran is giving the guidance, the direction, the instruction of every aspect of life. Yes. Come to the light from the dark. Jesus said. Jesus said, I have much more to tell you. But this is too much for you to bear. I have much more to tell you. The remaining truth. Who brought? The prophecy. Refer none other than Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. The remaining truth. Who brought? Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Who Jesus told. When Jesus told about this. About Prophet Muhammad only. Jesus said. Jesus said. And Moses. The Almighty God told him. Moses, I will raise up a prophet like you, like Moses, who will marry a natural birth, natural death, not Jesus. The Lord told to Mo Moses, I will raise up a prophet like you from among the brethren. I will put my words in his mouth. He will declare the truth of God. He will not speak his own authority. He will speak what he hear from Almighty God. This prophecy is about Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Is your wish? You think of yourself. You think of yourself. Think, think, think. Don't worship any idols. Worship only one God who is unseen and omniscient. Who created the universe? Who is the originator? All that exists. And worship God five times. Give zakat every year. Take fasting once in a month in a year. Can you take? Try. Try. Come to the real path of life. So I wish you everyone good luck. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you all. God bless you all. Wa alaikum salam.